guys, it's Vashel and welcome back to my life. Now you know the Caribbean has some of the tastiest food in the entire world. St. Vincent, no exception. So for these next couple of videos, we are going on a food tour of my beautiful country. Tonight we are starting at Four Shells in Calicua. At Four Shells you get some of the best fresh flavorful seafood that our country has to offer and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So if you're interested, there we go. Yeah. In my mind, flashing by a thousand times. Uh oh, don't know how to let it go. Tripping like a domino. Check it once, you check it twice. One Here we are arriving on Four Shells. I should let you know that Four Shells, it's not a luxury establishment. So just, you know, go in there with an open mind. I should also note that when we went in, we weren't greeted, we weren't really acknowledged, we just walked in, um, found ourselves a seat and then there are no menus so we had to get back up, go back to the bar area where the menu is written on, um, on a, a chalkboard and then we placed our order. So we decided to have a drink while we waited on our food and from the boxes behind me again, not a luxury establishment. Um, the conversation was good, the ambiance, you know, it was nice and quiet, really good music. So we had some really great conversation, which was a good thing because the wait for the food, yeah, it, yeah, it was, it was a long time. Okay guys, so it is 10.25, we've been here for maybe like an hour and a half and there's still no food, we ordered, there's no food. Um, I asked the waitress and she says that she's waiting on the fish but it's been an hour and a half and I'm starving. It's been a long day. It does not take that long to find some fish. Yeah, it's. I'm not happy about this. So for this weight, I hope that like this food is 10 out of 10 and absolutely amazing because we've been waiting and we're hungry. We're hungry. Yes, hungry at this point. So this is one thing that and and. There's not even a lot of people here, actually. So I don't know what's what's going on. So they definitely need to work on this because I would not want to be here like during a rush period because then that might take all day. It's like being at the hair salon. Yeah. So I'll check back in with you guys when the food comes. Hopefully it doesn't take much longer. So it is 10.26 now. Let's see what time the food comes. So the food finally came and it looked mouth-wateringly good. I had some nice steamed veggies, potato salad, rice. There was a piece of breadfruit in there. It just looked so, so good. It was almost enough to make me forget the two hour wait, but not so much and I really could not wait to dig in. I should let you know that we got the small red snapper and if this is a small snapper, they have small, medium and large, I would not want to see the large because this was a lot of food for the price that we paid. Do you think we could get away with saying we'll pay the bill, we'll be back to pay the bill? <laughs> no. Okay, so this is... Um, and, and, you know, come back in a couple of hours. Couple of, in two hours. Mm -hmm. 
Potato salad, pretty good. No complaints there. Nice fresh ginger in there. <laughs> okay, so let's dig into this fish. I'm not even gonna use though the knife actually. I haven't used it. Yeah. Mmm, you see that steam? Mm. For me, I think it's a little salt. But a little salty yeah for me i agree yeah it's a little salt um a little salty for me but it's definitely flavorful well and well yeah well cooked well seasoned just a little salty for me mentioned to us that they prepare over 600 pounds of fish at four shells per week and based on the quality of the food I can see why it is so popular with locals and visitors alike they also catch their own fish so you cannot get it fresher anywhere else the small size red snapper that we got was I believe 30 or 35 dollars and this is a lot of food especially in today's highly inflated economy I was very happy with the amount of food that I got for 30 to 35 dollars Okay guys, so I had a meal. I absolutely enjoyed it, but was it worth waiting two hours? I don't think any meal is worth waiting two hours. <laughs> um, let me know in the comment section if that's a deal breaker for you because it really is for me. Also, if you have visited Four Shells because I don't know if it's a one-off thing, you know, if it just happened tonight or if it happens all the time. So if you have visited Four Shells, let us know in the comment section what your wait time was. But apart from that, the food was was really really good we enjoyed it apart from my fish to my taste it was a tad bit salty but everything else was absolutely great I love that the fish was fresh four shells is located um, in Kaliakwa and Kaliakwa is a fishing community so it's from sea to table and that's what I love about that from sea to table no preservatives no nothing I just absolutely love that so if you are interested in eating the way locals do then this is definitely one of the places that you should visit if you don't mind waiting for your food 
<laughs> so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I'm pretty excited about this new series and about showing you guys the places to eat if you want to you know delve into the culture of St. Vincent and the Grenadines so um, I'm pretty happy about the next spot that I'm taking you guys to and I really cannot wait if you have stuck to the end of this video hit that subscribe button and um, tell a friend to tell a friend and I'll see you guys at the next spot bye